Stanford University. So the second question that came in, which is really another very interesting question, is do you think that the study of dynamic functional connectivity is going to be important, an important way forward for understanding how the brain works? And the short answer is yes, absolutely. Uh, the longer answer is, is interesting. The connectivity itself, that static map in the brain, is not really static. The connectivity map itself changes with time, uh, and it changes as people learn, but it also changes immediately during the course of behavior. And here's the way to think about this. One of the things that really characterizes primate behavior and human behavior is our flexibility. We can adapt behavior to different social situations, and that's a key part of our success in life. So I might have completely different emotional reactions, facial expressions, uh, thought patterns when my boss is in the room, but my boss leaves the room and my wife walks into the room and the words and sentiments that come out of my mouth, the kinds of issues that I engage are completely different. These are changes in the nervous system that happen completely unconsciously, but it amounts to rewiring. It amounts to uh, different inputs causing different outputs of the nervous system and the dynamical changes in connectivity we're talking about is really critical to that socially sensitive production of behavior which is in turn critical to adaptive life in a primate society. Stanford University